De -de 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 -de. Welcome back, my friends, to BJJ Brick Quick. This is a podcast about jujitsu. It's pretty quick. It's got great music. Hasn't uh, won any awards yet for the music, but that's to be seen. Good chance. There's a good chance. Today we're talking about uh, Tom Sachs' 10 Bullets. We're in bullet number two. These are just rules that Tom Sachs wrote uh, for running a shop, like a workshop, and we're kind of dragging these onto the mat and seeing how they match up. Bullet number two is sacred space. So for the shop, some, a place where you build things, it's sacred to Tom. He doesn't want a lot of interruptions like your phones and and people coming and going and just disrespecting the space. The shop is a sacred space. It's got to be clean. Personal items have a spot. They're not just thrown around everywhere. People who don't belong aren't there. For jujitsu, I think this one's pretty similar. Our mats are kept clean and free of people just wandering around on them with their shoes on or, um, you know, so you don't have somebody in the middle of the mat, you know, wearing their shoes on their phone, texting while people are sparring. That doesn't work. Most gyms have a place for certain things. You know, you have a gym bag. Maybe you have a locker or a cubby. There's a spot for that. This isn't the place to be having uh, a family dispute. <laughs> it's not the place to, if you need to take a phone call, step outside. Nobody wants to be listening to you on your phone for five minutes as people are trying to have a class. There are definitely some parallels with the sacred space that Tom Sachs laid down for you know, a shop and that we could say about jiu-jitsu. A lot of respect for each other on the mats. If somebody's being reckless with your health or your safety, that's not cool. It's not allowed in this space. I think this is a good one for jujitsu. I think it fits the... I really don't know how to run a shop. I don't even run a gym. So, But uh, the, the idea that when we enter these, these doors and we get on the mats or, you know, wherever the space is, we have rules to follow. And it makes it better. It makes it a better learning environment, better training environment. It's more fun, safe. So I think this is a good bullet for jujitsu. It was bullet number two. I didn't mention this in the first one. <laughs> you can watch all these bullets, all ten of them. On YouTube, there's been multiple people who have done little documentaries or explaining these outside of the, I don't know how far they've gotten outside of the, the world of, of, you know, building things in a shop, but it's a, they're a great list. I'm happy to bring them to the Jiu-Jitsu community and see how they relate. Guys, I hope you have a great day today and stay sweaty, my friend. <laughs>